I'm Jesse Bird, author of the children's book, Sunny Days, which is illustrated by Anastasia Koo. On a bright sunny day in New Orleans, Martine is skipping to school. She stopped to take a peek inside of Mr. Pip's bakery. His shop always smelled of delicious cupcakes, sprinkles, and warm strawberry icing. Mmm. Hey, Mr. Pip, Martine screamed. Mr. Pip was so surprised he nearly dropped his cake. Next, Martine stopped at Miss Shirley's music studio. Miss Shirley's students played the most beautiful music you could ever hear. Sometimes, they would come outside and play songs for the whole neighborhood. People would rush out of their homes and shops carrying fancy umbrellas and dance right in the street. Everyone loved it. Now in New Orleans, we call this a second line. Hi, Miss Shirley, Martine yelled, slapping the window with both hands. Now you may not know this, but Martine loves peaches. She loves to feel the fuzzy skin and taste the sweet, sweet juice inside. Mr. Johnny's grocery had peaches so big, you needed to hold them with two hands. Hi, Mr. Johnny, shouted Martine. Mr. Johnny was so startled, he tossed his apples into the air. But later that day, the rain outside was scary. Martine's mom came to pick her up early from school. We're taking a surprise trip to Grandma, she said. Daddy's going to meet us there. On the drive to Grandma's, the heavy rain sounded like static. Pshhh. Lightning flashed in the sky as if someone were playing with a big light switch. The wind blew so fast, the trees looked like they would be snatched right out of the ground. And thunder shook the earth as if giants were jumping nearby. When they arrived at Grandma's, Martine had to take a bath. Then her dad pulled her favorite crocodile blankie out of his suitcase and wrapped her up in it. The family rushed to the living room as Grandma clicked on the news. There was a terrible storm on the TV. Hurricane Willis is bringing in a lot of rain, said the reporter. That's our house, Martine yelled. Once it was safe to go home, Martine's neighborhood wasn't as she remembered it. The sweet smells, pretty colors, and beautiful music had all disappeared. For days, people stood around sad looking at their houses and shops until one afternoon, Martine got an idea. The next morning, Martine jumped out of bed. She wiggled into her school clothes. She brushed her teeth in a flash. She gobbled up her breakfast and swiped her lunch from the kitchen counter. Then she burst through the front door and looked up to the big blue sky. Hey, Grace, hey, she shouted. Every morning, Martine did this same thing with the same excitement. Hey, Lisa girl, bonjour, Penelope. Hello, Jill. Good day, Charlie. Hola, Luca. Hi, Drew. One day, Mr. Johnny stopped Martine on her way to school and asked, Martine, little girl, who in the world are you talking to up there? People on TV named the rainy days Willis. Well, I wanted to name the sunny days too, Martine whispered. Mr. Johnny looked like he'd seen a ghost. He reached behind him for his chair and plopped down in it. When people came to see if he was okay, Mr. Johnny told them exactly what Martine had said to them. And as Martine was skipping home from school that day, something strange happened. People were sweeping dirt out of their shops, putting in new windows, painting store signs, and carrying big bags of garbage out of their homes. Martine helped where she could. Before long, their neighborhood looked better than before. 
People threw a big party in the street to celebrate. Miss Shirley's students played music with their new donated instruments. Mr. Pip baked a cake long as a picnic table, covered with delicious frosting and purple sprinkles. At the parade, Mr. Johnny walked up to Martine carrying the biggest peach she had ever seen. It was so plump, she really did have to hold it with two hands. Martine danced holding her peach and smiling from ear to ear. People in her community found a new joy and a new strength, depending on each other and depending on themselves. The end. And that's Sunny Days. At the end of this story, we talk about some of our favorite things. Some of my favorite things are reading books, playing video games, warm popcorn, French toast, and of course, my lovely wife, Iman. For the illustrator, Anastasia Koo, who drew all of the beautiful pictures you just saw, some of her favorite things are playing music, reading Harry Potter books, chubby animals, and creating new worlds. What are some of your favorite things?